Ayon sa Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology o FIBOX, sa halos apat na raang taon, ngayon lang naitala ang ganito kalakas na lindol. Meron tayong uh, uh, offshore active fault uh, on the northeastern side of Cebu Island. Yun yung uh, produce ng mag 6.9 earthquake noong September 30. Kapag titingnan natin yung uh, historical seismicity ng lugar, Uh, for the past, uh, since 1600, wala tayong mga malalaking lindol on that area. So I think this is the strongest earthquake that happened in uh, most recent memory. When we say mag 6.9, that's considered a strong earthquake. Now, titingnan natin yung depth, yung lalim ng uh, lindol, it's just 5 kilometers. So, uh, ang seismic energy kasi, uh, as it travels towards the surface, nagdi-diminish yan. So, uh, say for, for instance, um, yung source ng lindol is 70 kilometers away, yung lalim niya. So, as it travels towards the surface, habang umakyat siya, kumukunti yung energy. So, pagdating niya sa taas, uh, wala na siyang halos energy. So, ibig sabihin, mahina na. Whereas, uh, kapag nag-travel yung isang um, seismic wave from, say, uh, a depth of 5 kilometers, pagdating niya sa taas, malakas pa rin siya. Kasi konti lang yung distance na ito travel niya. This is uh, the big one for uh, uh, northeastern side of, of Cebu. But uh, there may be you know, like bigger ones uh, na hindi pa natin na, nakikita. Ayon sa FIBOX, posibleng tumagal pa ng ilang araw o linggo ang mga nararamdamang aftershock na umabot na sa libo-libo. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, we expect aftershocks in the next few days, uh, even weeks. Um, yung so far yung pinakamataas na aftershock na na-record natin uh, is uh, mag magnitude 5. For uh, a magnitude, for an earthquake of magnitude 6.9, we would expect an aftershock at most 5.9 because by definition, aftershocks are one degree lower than the main shock. Pero uh, habang tumatagal naman, Uh, tumukonti yung number of aftershocks and lumiliit din yung magbitsyon. Babala ng FIBOX, mag-ingat sa mga napinsalang gusali kahit ang mga nagkaroon lamang ng mga minor damages. Siyempre, of course, uh, kapag uh, malakas yung aftershock, pwede pa rin gumuho yung anumang uh, mga buildings na hindi pa totally na nag-collapse. Pwede uh, if, it was, if it did not totally collapse during the main shock, it may collapse during a bigger aftershock. Um, uh, people should be cautious of uh, aftershocks. Uh, if there is a big aftershock, uh, kapag naramdam nila to, uh, there's strong shaking. Again, we, we do the usual, we do the duck over and hold. And then, uh, yung kapag yung mga tao naman, uh, may, uh, they would notice uh, visible damage doon sa bahay nila or sa structure kung saan sila naman malagi, huwag muna silang pumasok. Uh, again, they have to consult uh, municipal or city engineers and Uh, seek uh, their advice, seek their guidance, seek clear clearance before uh, they enter or bago pumasok ulit. Kasi po, uh, kung hindi man ito, as I mentioned, kung hindi man ito na sira totally during the main shock, pwede itong masira during a big aftershock. Pag-aaralan naman ng FIBOX ang nangyaring paglindol sa Cebu. Uh, Magpagtitignan natin sa, kung yung surface rupture, uh, saan yan, but not now. Ang main concern muna natin ngayon is i-mapa yung impacts ng lindol. Uh, Mag-set din tayo ng mga uh, temporary seismic station para ma-capture uh, natin accurately yung uh, location ng mga aftershocks. And of course, uh, may isa din tayong team to go there and you know, conduct information dissemination campaigns. Yung pag-mapa ng trace ng fault sa dagat, we'll probably do it at a later time.